everyone. Thanks so much for stopping by to the Peppered Peach today. We're gonna to be checking out the Blueberry Sweet Rolls from Magnolia Cookbook, volume number two. So I have not made these yet, actually. This has been on my to-do list for a long time, so I'm very excited to try these out today. When we were at Magnolia, this was on the menu, but we did not try them. There was just too much stuff to eat and too much stuff to try, so that just means we gotta go back. But in the meantime, I'm gonna try these out at home to see how they come out. So let's get started. Okay, so our first step is to combine our warm milk. So I just warmed this up. I'm gonna dump this in here. We have some yeast, jump that in, and some butter. And we're gonna add the egg as well. More milk, yeast, sugar. I need to do the sugar. Someone remind me to do the sugar, just kidding. All right, and our sugar. So we have about, I think two, two tablespoons, yeah. And you're wondering, wow, what an adorable peach dish. Well, this is from Sunny. So thank you, Sunny, it's adorable. All right, so we're gonna mix this together on low. I'm gonna add in some salt. Oh well, I'm gonna wait on the salt as I spill it everywhere. <laughs> That's all right. All right, so we're gonna mix this together with the dough hook. This is interesting. I've never had warm milk and yeast in here first, so this is gonna be an interesting recipe. Hope it comes out. <laughs> okay. Just waiting for that butter to just melt down a little bit. It was at room temperature, but I don't want any clumps of butter before I add in our flour and our salt. While this is going, I'm gonna grab a spatula. Okay, I'm just gonna add the rest of this in here now. And we have some salt, which is just a teaspoon. And we'll mix. So this should be about five minutes and we want it to be sticky. So that's what we're going for. It's definitely getting sticky. And it smells doughy. <laughs> another minute or two and then we'll take it out and we're gonna put this into a bowl that has a little pam on it and we're gonna let this sit for an hour all right it's nice it's sticky let's take it out Can, the can, can, can. There we go. Oh, let's take this off. Oh, oh. <laughs> Why is this coming off? There we go. Okay. All right, we'll take this. It's nice and sticky. I'm gonna put it on here in our bowl. I'm gonna take some saran wrap. Tighten this up. And we'll let this sit for an hour, and in the meantime, we're gonna get our blueberries ready to go. Okay, let's get started on our blueberries. Okay, so while our dough is rising, let's go ahead and make our blueberry mixture. So I have frozen blueberries. 
I'm gonna combine that with some sugar and some cornstarch. If it wants to, there we go. I gonna say, if it wants to come out. There we go. All right. We're gonna bring this to a boil and should be a couple minutes. So I'm gonna stir it for now. I'm gonna keep my eye on it. And now we wait. Okay, this is all done. The blueberries look perfect. It's nice and combined and it's syrupy and thick. So let's put this into a bowl. And then this needs to chill for about 30 minutes, which is perfect because once this is chilled, we can go ahead and get going on our dough. And that's it. So everything's ready. We just need that dough to rise. So see you then. Okay, y'all, it's been about an hour since we've created our dough. It is ready to go. Look how pretty this looks. So the first step, which is the best step, is to punch it. So punch it in. Look how nice this looks. I'm gonna transfer it out. It smells so good. And now we are going to roll this out. We just got some flour on here because, you know, we don't want it to be too sticky. And we're gonna roll this out to a 12 by 18 rectangle. So, see if I can get this right. You know how I am with measurements when it comes to, when it comes to this part of it. <laughs> so, make sure I get this right. We have, I think we're good actually. Let's see. Okay, I think we are ready to go. So now that we have this rolled out, let's take our blueberry mixture that's now fully chilled, and we are gonna spread this around. Okay. And she says to leave about a half an inch border. So let's make sure, it actually might be too big. I think this looks perfect. Maybe a little bit more. These edges. And we're good. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna leave this out just in case I need it. All right, so I am gonna move this out of the way. And now we're going to roll this up. So, she says, to, let's see. Starting on the short side, I am going to roll the dough tightly away from me. So I'm actually gonna move this this way. Oh, can I, can I? Yes. All right, there we go. And I'm gonna start rolling. Tight, she says. rolled. Okay, now that we have that, we are going to slice this up. And she says, how much? She says, yep, it's about 12 inches. So that's perfect. And now we're going to slice it into one inch thick slices. So start cutting. place some cut side up on the prepared pan. Okay, so I'm gonna do that while I cut each piece. It smells so good, the blueberry and 
it's just, it's adding, I am very excited to try this out. Okay, now that this is all set, it's in the pan. I'm gonna rearrange this to make it a little bit better because I thought it would have... Penny has opinions on this. She's very excited about the blueberry, but she's gonna have to wait like everyone else and she'll never try it, <laughs> but she is excited. Okay, so now that this is in the pan, we're gonna go ahead, Penny. Excuse me, young lady. <laughs> we're gonna let this double in size. So we're gonna put this off to the side and come back to it and then we'll bake it for about 20 minutes, but we'll see you then. Let me clean up my hands before I get it on my white pans, give Penny a nice little talking to, and then we'll get back to this after about 30 minutes. All right, so our blueberry sweet rolls have doubled in size, as you can see, and we're gonna pop them in the oven for about 15 minutes. In the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and make our lemon glaze. So as soon as it comes out, we're gonna dump that all over. So let's get this in the oven. All right, 15 minutes on the clock. Now, let's go ahead and make our lemon glaze. So first, we're gonna take our melted butter, lemon zest, tablespoons of lemon juice. Cut this bad boy in half. And last but not least, Okay, <laughs> got it all out. Now let's add in our, well, let me first whisk this up. Then we're gonna add in our powdered sugar. Whoops, oh, I'm making a mess. That's okay. And we just need a pinch of kosher salt. Smells lemony and sugary, so sign me up. Okay, nice and glazy. So now we just have about 12 minutes left to go on our blueberries, but let's wait it out and we are almost there and we can finally try this. All right, y'all, it's time to try our blueberry sweet rolls with lemon glaze. It smells so good, the blueberry, the lemon, Let's taste, oh, let's taste it. Mmm, okay. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little nervous about trying this because I love blueberries, but it's hard for me to get away from the fact that there's no cinnamon in the cinnamon roll, in a, in a blue in a roll here. But this is so good. The glaze, I love it. It has the perfect amount of lemon in it. The blueberry and the lemon just worked so well together. I love this. I was a little hesitant because I'm not a huge, fan of blueberries and, and putting them together into a roll, which I think should just be like a cinnamon roll. But this is really good. I will definitely be making this with some, for some of my family and friends. I love it. It's super, super tasty. This is actually at the Magnolia Table restaurant to, to eat, but I didn't get it because I was getting so much food that it was hard to fit, fit everything in. But next time, we're gonna have to go and make sure we get this because it's so, so tasty. If you make it at home, let me know what you think because I'd love to know what you think. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching me make this blueberry sweet roll and I'll catch you next time. See ya. Because I'm combining the blueberries, the sugar and cornstarch and bringing that to a boil and then transferring to a bowl of chill. Like it's not, it's not a big deal. Okay, so our blueberry, nope, sweet rolls. Can I start over here? Is that okay? Okay. If I like, are you sure that's right?